guys what's up so today I'm coming to you guys with a fresh face all I have is mascara my brows and my lip gloss on don't judge me but anyways today I'm gonna to be doing a current phase video now I was thinking about doing a November phase but your girl didn't really have a lot of like phase just because I have started working like I said in my videos before two jobs so I haven't really had time to like figure out things if that makes sense that I really really love but I do have a few things so I'm just gonna say current phase I'm not even gonna make it a fall or like November phase but anyway um so let's go ahead and get to the video so here I have face products I have a hair product accessory jacket makeup all of that so we're gonna go ahead and get to the video so um you guys can know of course all my favorites so first we're gonna start off with hair and girl let me tell you okay I have some on right now but like I didn't do my edges because I was rushing to work but this right here will save your life okay eco styler and the gorilla snot kind of um edge control is amazing I like I said use this today I was rushing to work I just you know put some on use my hands brush a little bit and boom you know like my hair is not really laid that much because like I've been messing with it all day but this right here you need to cop and it's not even that expensive you can get it at Sally's or we can get it at Target maybe um, pretty much any hair store or any place that sells hair products but you should be able and you should get this next I have skincare so I have here first is the witch hazel estrangement by Humphrey this is legit why my skin is clear like people always ask how in the world is your skin so clear and I'm like witch hazel honey just take all your makeup off first use this to make sure all the makeup's off and you're good next I have two Mario Badescu products I'm mad because this is $7 and this is $7 and this is actually cheaper I believe now I'm not sure and I guess they grew the bottle I don't know what happened but anyway as you can tell I really did like this I have a little bit left this is the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and this is the facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea now they say this one or is it this one I believe this one is good for like redness and acne and I think this one is good for let me make sure Maybe this is good for hydration pretty much they both work good for your skin so I recommend you get both of these you can get them at Sephora not Sephora but you maybe can get this for I'm not sure and you can get it at Ulta and hopefully um, other drug stores but I got mine from Ulta all right to continue the skincare faves I have this ultra repair cream from first aid beauty and I went to Ulta and I was like I need a lotion that keeps my skin moisturized because like I said I work two jobs I live in Wisconsin my hands stay dry therefore I use this and girl let me tell you my hands have stayed looking good except when I like go outside for like a long time and you know, like cause, like I do parts at one of my jobs but other than that I mean my hands don't crack anymore they don't um cut easily or anything like that so if you want to have more dry skin this is also for your face and body too so you can use this and um yeah it'll save your life next is accessories so i have these shades here and i throw these on when i don't have a lot of makeup on and it just adds a little bit of flavor to every outfit and um it makes you look a little more stylish for the day definitely when you just woke up and you don't want to like it too much so you just throw these on and you're good all right, so next I have this cute jacket. I got this from Marshalls, and it was only like um, I believe like eighteen dollars, not even twenty. And I was like, I need it. Like, look how cute this is. It's pink and it's silver. I'm tired of seeing gold accessories, like accessory, not gold accessories, but like gold accents on things. It was silver. I had to cop, and I wore I worn this like maybe twice or three times. But like, how can you not love this? Like, it's so cute. It's so cute. Alright, so another favorite of mine is this podcast I'm going to put right here, and it's called the Black Girl Bosses Podcast, and you guys, I have been inspired to be an entrepreneur, you know, because I'm an inspiring entrepreneur, and this podcast is the best one if you're a black girl, you're a millennial, like, you know, obviously young adult, younger age, and you've yet to, like, know how to start a business and do anything that has to do with the business, you definitely should listen to this podcast. It will inspire you, like, you can listen to it every single morning. And it would just like give you more tips and help you out on how to like I said start a business and you know network and you know social media advertising all that just everything from like the start up to the end you know what I mean like so definitely I really recommend you guys click the link down below to go listen to this podcast it's on iTunes I believe and it's on SoundCloud I'm gonna try to find a SoundCloud for you guys. 
but I need you guys to listen because I love it. Next is makeup, which is the best part of the whole video because um, I love makeup. So the first thing I have is this glitter, um, not glitter, it's this highlight palette. And it's Anastasia Beverly Hills Glam Kit. This came out, has it been a year? It's, it's been some time since this came out. Mine's messy, but I love every highlighter in here. I obviously can't use this one as much, but I usually use Amber Gold or Hot Sand, and if I'm feeling really artsy, I will use Snow, but like, this right here will keep you going for a good amount of time, even if your foundation gets a little oily, and yeah, I've just been loving it because I can easily just put it on, walk out the door, and I'm good. Next, I went back to an older powder that I had that I never used, and I actually like it for the winter, like it keeps your makeup staying on all day. And then my makeup, um, my foundation is a little orange, so I put this on there because it has a little ashiness type of color to it, and it makes my foundation look a little more toned down, and like I said, it keeps my makeup on all day, so I've been using this for that, and this is the Mineral Veil, and I believe translucent, but it's like a little powder, and you like, you know, you can dip a brush in there and just use it. And yeah, so I went back to this, and I actually like it. It's pretty good. Next, um, people have been asking me what I use for my eyebrows. And I use the NYX Gel Liner and Smudger, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. It just looks like that, you know, your average dip brow. And this has come through. Like, I like it. Because, like, I would never think to use a liner as a brow product, but why not, you know? So I tried. But um, if you want a good product for your brows, definitely use the NYX Liner and Judger. Or, and Smudger, not Judger. Liner and Judger. The last products I have are all lippies. And the one I have on right now is the LA Colors Moisturizing Glossy Lip. If you buy this, buy this in bulk so you'll never run out because I promise you, you'll be using this for the rest of your life. It's, it's literally moisturizing. It's cute on. People always tell me my lips look good when I have this on, so I mean, why not? But if you don't see me with chapstick, you'll see me with this. If you don't see me with lipstick, you'll see me with this. I actually lost my first one, but I do have two backups, so... I definitely recommend you guys cop this. I definitely will put in my giveaway when I get a thousand subscribers. Then next I have some more lippies. So I have two lip glosses type of shades. And then I have two matte and one lip liner. So I have the ColourPop lip gloss in the shade Leo. This is good for like a neutral shade. And I put this on with my MAC Chestnut lip liner. And it looks so cute for like an everyday nude but it's like more pinky kind of so if I use that one and then I go in with this elf lip lacquer in the shade natural sometimes if I don't want an as pinky shade also with my um, chestnut lip liner and I'll just go ahead and just watch that so you guys know what that looks like this is a lip liner you guys need like it's an essential like you will keep rebuying it if you're into neutral colors and then next I have two lip lingeries by NYX the first one is in the shade Teddy and I'll show you guys that really quick. I use this when I want to go for darker shades because like it's the fall time, so that is always an essential. And I might throw it on with my chestnut lip liner. And then I'll go in with, I believe, yep, push up. If I want to be more pinky and more nude. So like if I want to go for glosses, I go for these two. If I want to go for matte shades, I go for these two. And I put chestnut with all four shades whenever I want to wear them. So yeah, um, that concludes my phase. So thank you guys for watching so much. I'm gonna um, actually start doing Vlogmas, but I'm gonna be filming throughout the week and giving out a video at the end of the week or the beginning, I'm not sure. It's gonna either be on Saturdays or Sundays, so look out for that. My life's not that interesting, but hopefully it gets that way. So stay tuned for that, because I know around Christmas, life will be a little more lit. But anyway, like I said, hopefully you guys like this video, and if you want to see, um, more videos and stuff you know comment down below some more video ideas i'll put the link down below to my um i'm gonna start my hair my body